Rouge, the House Homeland Security Committee will hold oversight hearings on the COVID pandemic in just a few days. Those hearings will look at many factors like masks, shutdowns, and forced vaccines. Oil City State Rep Danny McCormick is on the Homeland Security Committee. He'll be taking part in those hearings. He's an outspoken opponent of some of the aforementioned pandemic practices and is looking ahead. Something else like this is going to happen in the future, and we've got to be able to uh, have penalties for those people that act uh, act and uh, discriminate our, against our constitutional rights. In McCormick's opinion, proper procedure should have gone something like this. If you wanted to wear a mask, wear one. If you wanted to take the vaccine, so be it. If not, that should be your choice. I take a liberty mind, mindset to everything. Let each individual decide what their risk factor is. I, I think they're better doing it than the government. Now, Jill Hines belongs to a group entitled Health Freedom Louisiana. She's testified more than 40 times before the legislature to protect an individual's right to say no to unwanted medical intervention. She'll be doing so again in the Baton Rouge hearings. Very much looking forward to, uh, to what I call the COVID Commission, the first uh, set of hearings that are going to be taking place next week. It's been a long time coming. We do need to evaluate you know, what the state did in response to COVID, was it ethical, was it legal, um, and should we take steps to ensure that it doesn't happen again? Hines asks a simple question concerning the state's COVID response. Um, did they follow federal guidelines? I don't think they did. Uh, so we need to make sure that in the future, if this does ever happen again, that there are safeguards in place that will protect, um, you know, our constitutionally protected rights and our freedoms here in the state of Louisiana. Those hearings take place September 25th and 26th in Baton Rouge.